Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. If you're ever working on an important Pro Tools session, you know how key it is to back up those sessions. So in this video, you'll learn a quick and easy way to have Pro Tools automatically back up those sessions for you. So you don't have to worry about any crashes or mishaps, you'll have those backups to go to. And remember to follow Wingsound on Facebook and Twitter to keep up to date with the latest releases from Wingsound Studio. Okay, so what you wanna do is locate your Pro Tools preferences. So in my case, I'm doing this in Pro Tools LE on a Mac. Just go to the top left corner where it says Pro Tools LE and find your preferences. Once you open your preferences, locate the operation tab, as you can see right there, and the bottom left corner, auto backup. That's where it is. So all you need to do is check the box to enable or uncheck the box to disable uh, the auto backup. And you see here it says keep 10 most recent backups and backup every five minutes. This is basically what Pro Tools normals to, but of course you can make the changes how you see fit for your session and the importance of you know how quick it backs up or how many backups it saves and also keep in mind that the amount of backups that you keep is going to take up more disk space so to make those changes all you got to do is click into one of the boxes and just type in the number that you see fit that suits your workflow and you know your needs for the backups and then just hit ok and pro tools will be auto backing up behind you know it won't interrupt your session nothing like that and these auto backups get saved within your main Pro Tools session folder. As you can see where it says session file backups, that's where all the backups get saved. So if there's a crash or any mistake in edit or something like that, just, you know, locate the most previous uh, backup and, you know, bring it up and your session's back to normal without that crash or the loss of, you know, whatever kind of information you might have deleted by accident or something like that. It's super, super important and you know very key to have going with pro tools check out wing sound on the itunes store to subscribe to the podcast listen to some music and download the free iphone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from wing sound studios just search for wing sound at the itunes store